We're Jake and Tatina, and these are our pups, Joey and Charlie. We love exploring the world in our backyard, but we're also balancing two full-time jobs. We're dreaming of a day when we can travel full-time, and until then, we're fitting in as much as we can outside of work. Join us every second Friday as we share our adventures and daily lives. Subscribe and come with us for the ride. So this year, we are finally going on the road trip we have been dying to go on for the longest time now. In normal times, we really do love a good road trip, and this year with COVID-19 still present and restricting international travel, it gave us even more of a push to stay close to home and explore our own country. So Jake and I are going on a two-week-long road trip through the Canadian Rockies. Starting from Vancouver, we're visiting all the big landmarks we can and everything in between. And we're doing it with our two dogs towing our 19-foot home on wheels behind us. Welcome to the first episode of our Rocky Mountain road trip. Good morning. Just leaving the house. It's been like weeks of planning for this. Our biggest trip ever. With the trailer. With the trailer, yeah. Good afternoon. We have made it to, I think it's called the Britain rest stop. It is huge. There's a whole side for just trailers and big semi trucks. So we've got a huge parking lot, barely anyone here, um, lots of space. It is like smoking hot right now though. Hi boys. Boys and I are hanging out in the trailer, snacking on popsicles and ice water. It is apparently 34 degrees right now. I think we're about halfway to Peachland. We just passed a sign that said we were at the Coquihalla Summit. And I think we've got about two or three hours left of a drive before we get to the campground. I can't wait to get back in the air conditioned truck. The popsicle helps. <laughs> While this was a beautiful drive, the temperature outside reached a stifling 38 degrees Celsius. Luckily, we're headed to a full hookup RV site in Peachland, so we can use our trailer's air conditioning once we're set up. But we did take it pretty slow on the highway drive there with our truck because we didn't want to overwork it in the heat, especially since it was towing our 6,000 pound trailer. So five and a half hours of slow driving later and... Welcome to Peachland. So we made it, um, it's about 40 degrees here it says. The moment we stepped out of that truck to set up the trailer, it was like a engulfed <laughs> by heat. Thank goodness for RV parks with hookups. If we were just out in the middle of nowhere, we would be dying right now. Yeah. Thank goodness we have AC. Yeah, oh we're, we're planning on doing rec sites in a couple days and we'll see where we're at. We might book some RV sites instead. So we turn on the air conditioning and we're just gonna, we set up most things, got the water hooked up, the electricity obviously. Chill for a little bit and then probably look at where to get sushi. I think there's a good sushi place nearby. That's what we're gonna do for dinner. We Nothing. should go somewhere in the evening for the boys. And we yeah. can find like a little off-leash dog park at the lake. Yeah. That's, that's a thing. Yeah, maybe. We don't have any huge plans, so tonight is open. We just finished a nap. We didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so it was nice to get like an hour, hour and a half nap. It was so nice. Yeah, uh, so put the AC on, took a little snooze, and now I'm trying to find a off-leash dog park. <laughs> and actually I found an off-leash dog beach that we're Woo! gonna go to. So it's not really marked, but the city of Peachland has it on their website as an off-leash dog beach. It's right by a boat launch, this little fenced in area that's meant for dogs to go in the Okanagan Lake. So we're gonna go there, then get some sushi, bring it back here and spend the rest of our night just hanging out. Wait, the boat launch area. Oh, there's a little boat going by. You need to say, need to go swimming?
done at the dog park waiting for the sushi to be picked up. We had quite the experience at the you dog park. You won't believe what happened at the dog park. So we have our big electronics bag and it was sitting behind us on the beach. We were in the water now, throwing the ball for the dogs. Be aware, our drone, our GoPro, we actually had our Bose headphones in there, our phones, like... Both of our phones were sitting nice on electronics. top of it. And this huge Rottweiler comes over and he's just hanging out. Joey and him are getting along. They're vibing. They're playing. He comes and like leans up against me for a little bit. We're like, this is cool. Right? This dog's chill. He's chill. He's chill. And then he saunters over to our bag and he sniffs it a little bit. And then he lifts his leg and he starts peeing all over it. He's this huge, On our electronics huge bag. Rottweiler. So it was like, it was like water that comes from your garden hose. <laughs> Anyways, we were able to, we got the water and rinsed it off pretty quickly. Dogs had fun though. There was a lot of dogs there. There were like what, 30 dogs? There? Yeah. I think so. It was a lot, yeah. yeah. It's still really hot out. I think our our temperature gauge said 36. 36 degrees. Very thankful we have air conditioning. Let's get some sushi. Got the goods. All right, we are winding down for bed. Tomorrow, we're planning on having a lake day. We will probably go back to that dog park area because then the boys can be off leash. And we will just lounge and relax in the sun and it's gonna be lovely. Good night, see you tomorrow. It's about 9 a.m. My thermostat says it's about 33 degrees out. It's gonna get hotter than that. We had the AC running all night, which is the only way we could probably sleep, to be honest. You see here, this is the backpack. I washed it last night and let it dry out after that dog peed on it. Let's see. It smells much better. So I'm gonna set up the canopy and I think I'm gonna make breakfast under there. I'm gonna make some quick coffee. Then I'll make sure Tatina's up and I'm gonna make up some eggs and hash browns. Just using instant coffee this morning. Cause we're gonna head out after breakfast. So I'm trying to be a little bit quicker about it. Might be too hot for coffee, but I don't know how to make iced coffee on the road. Now, whenever I make hash browns, I always put salt, pepper, just a little bit of cayenne, dill weed, and rosemary. I saw this TikTok once uh, where he shredded up some hash browns and put all these spices on and mm, so good. So now I do it every time I make hash browns. Good morning. It is another sweltering hot day. We're in our bathing suits. We are getting ready to go to the Okanagan Lake. We'll just spend the day there. Gonna go load up the boys and see you at the dog park. Beach on the Okanagan Lake. Yeah. Sweet. And there's dogs allowed here. Off leash. Yeah, there's an off leash area. It's a sandy beach, so we're gonna put out some towels, we brought some chairs, some drinks. We're gonna go for a swim with the dogs and just hang out. Someone recommended um, going to this giant peach ice cream shop and it's close to where we're going. So we might oh, stop there. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like in the shape of a giant peach and they sell ice cream. Awesome. We'll definitely be checking that out. Yeah. And then we'll see how we feel. We got like a nice dinner plan that we're gonna make. We're making, it's like a red Thai curry. Yeah. Yeah, on rice, so that should be good. Man, I almost wish we had a boat. It looks so nice. But we can't have everything. <laughs> can't tow a trailer and a boat. We have reached the 40s. We are at 41 degrees. Woo! So we found a spot at the off-leash dog beach. Tina got a shady spot and I'm gonna walk back to the truck and try and grab all the stuff. Hopefully I can do it. All this stuff, let's see if I can carry it. I am so 
so proud of Joey. Before this trip, he did not swim at all. He would go in about chest deep and then he'd stop. He swam today and he was swimming for like a solid 15 minutes. Like he just went for it. I was, he was swimming, he was having a good time. I'm just so proud of him. Just wanted to pop on here and say that. So what'd you get? I got the happy birthday. It's very extra. Look at Looks this so thing. Good. This drink is crazy. It came with a film candle. <laughs> Too bad I don't have a lighter. <laughs> We're gonna go grab some fruit. <laughs> So our big recipe for this video is our Thai red curry that we're gonna be making. Yum. Dinner. We left the dogs in the trailer with the AC on, and Jake and I, and some cherries, are gonna go watch the rest of the sunset. The sun has pretty much set, but it's a really? nice temperature. We're gonna go watch the water and just have a very peaceful evening. We found this awesome little lookout. Lookout? Yeah. A look out on the side of the road, like two minutes away from the RV park, and check out our view. Let's just take you outside here. first couple days of our Canadian Rockies road trip. Join us next episode where we'll be checking out a couple of the famous Okanagan Valley vineyards and then we'll be moving on to our next stop in Mount Revelstoke National Park. Thanks for watching guys and if you like this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you next time! Welcome to Peachland.